Tonight, in a surprising move, we're learning several local search and rescue groups will dissolve in their place. The Clackamas County Sheriff's Office says it's creating its own team. So what does this mean for all those other volunteers? We spoke with one of them tonight to find out. For decades, lost hikers, injured climbers, or stuck drivers braving the dangerous elements of Mount Hood have relied on the help of local search and rescue teams. From the sky and down below, we've watched those brave volunteers put their lives on the line. Volunteers like Scott Lee and his canines. He's been doing this about nine years, and the black one is Jet, and he's about two and he's my dog in training. But after 16 years of dedicated work, Scott says his days with his rescue team could be numbered. Portland Mountain Rescue, Pacific Northwest Search and Rescue, and, and Mountain Way have been doing this for 25 plus years. And to now all of a sudden for the sheriff to say, join us or you're not gonna do search and rescue in the area, it was, was a, quite a shock. In a surprising move, the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office says it's ending its partnership with outside search and rescue teams, replacing them with its own. It's kind of a gut punch, actually, for, you know, for, for being their backbone for a number of years on searches and working closely with them. Um, and now they, they put this on us and tell us it's, it's, it's a gut punch. Sheriff Craig Roberts citing the changes to recent litigation, recommendations of county council, and a comprehensive study. They've gone through some lawsuits in the past that they want to have more control over their members. The sheriff also saying the research says forming this new single dedicated team is the right move, one that will help improve local response times and communication. But Scott says with those groups dissolving, the county will be losing some highly skilled, qualified searchers. There's about 300 searchers um, and Clackamas County has said that they will want to cap it at about 150. So there's roughly about 150, 200 searchers, volunteers that won't that have to find a new home. And Scott says there's still a lot of uncertainty about what exactly happens next in this process. We will continue following up on these changes and we have the full statement from the sheriff's office on our website, kptv.com.